So one of these last days, you open stock media, film stock, and see. Motion graphics. Just for display. You can't use it for anything. That is not true. In this video, I will show you three creative ways to use motion graphics in Filmora. Let's get started. So for the first example, I'm going to show you how you can create a transition using these motion graphics. Go stock media, film stock, motion graphics. As you can see, not all of them can fit to make a transition, so you have to choose. Since we've been on holidays, let me choose this knitted Christmas pack. Make it like 3 seconds. Double left click and go mask. Choose linear, that's a single line. From the preview window, customize it like this. Now duplicate this video. On the above video, invert the mask. Move your playhead 10 frames later and use Alter K to add a keyframe. Move to the start of the video and adjust the exposition figures so that you can move the video out of the view frame. After around 20 frames, add another keyframe. And for the last keyframe, change the Y position figures to move the video up and actually out of the frame. Add markers on every keyframe. Now I will do the same animations for the video below, but this video will be animating from the left side. The next thing is to add a green sample color image. Then export this. Now double click the video and go AI tools, there you will find the chroma key. So as you can see there is still a faint green, so that means you have to increase the offset. Now, for a smooth and nice edge border, you can increase the thickness to the maximum. Before the actual preview, there is still one more thing to make our transition look professional. Double left click and go speed and select speed ramping. Select custom. And here I want it to come in fast, slow down in the middle, and fast again on the last part. Let's check the preview. Now you can save this clip as a transition for your future projects. Delete everything in the timeline, go files, and save the project as a template. Let's move to the second creative way of using motion graphics. Here I will show you how you can make use of those professional color graded scenes. For example, we have these kinds of clips in motion graphics. If you are editing some scenes that may need some cinematic color gradings of low exposure, you will not need to start the color grading from scratch. Just use these cinematic dark scenes to color match your footage. For example, this video of a woman walking. Click the video and go to this icon right here. Move your mouse until the targeted frame shows up. Press color match. After this you will do just a few additionals.
and here is your color matched video. Here is the third creative way to use motion graphics. Creating a logo. Have you ever desired to have these amazing motion graphics rolling out on your YouTube intro? If you did, that means you are part of my conversation, because that's what I will show you. If you are finding value in this video, I will kindly ask you to reach your finger to that subscribing button to help the growth of this channel and also enjoy the cool tutorials I am creating. Actually, these are best for gaming channels. So I will just choose one. Okay, I'm sure you expect something amazing to go with this element. Well, I will just show you a screenshot for all the animations, customizations, and how exactly you can create an amazing YouTube intro using the motion graphics, you can watch this video right here.